beer distributorship in Asheville, North Carolina years ago, so I had an interest in the spirits and distillation and brewing businesses and the evolution of brewing in particular. And when I met Stephen and his wife Jessica at Tennessee Hills, I just had a good instinct that they had built a lifestyle brand and in my mind it looked like the perfect partnership to transplant into this West Walnut Street development plan and do something pretty iconic. Being from the mountains of Appalachia, uh, I was exposed to brewing and distilling at an early age and it really just kind of piqued my interest and it really kind of put my career in motion. I went to Emory & Henry, majored in biology and chemistry, worked at Eastman in research development for five years. When we first started the distillery, the brewing fermentation distillation minor, it wasn't in the cards, but it's one that since we've grown as a company, it's something that just evolved and it made sense that we have a university here uh, locally that we work with them to kind of really create workforce development. And since we're building a, a world-class facility right here in downtown Johnson City, it just made sense that we, we uh, created a partnership with ETSU. You know, there's um, quite a growing interest in brewing and distilling, uh, both regionally and nationally. So this is something that, you know, can provide students with an option um, to develop workforce skills as well. It's the perfect example of a university creatively focusing on workforce development and taking some of the components it already has, especially when you have the sciences departments that East Tennessee State University has with chemistry and biology. Within the curriculum, students will study fermentation science, marketing and entrepreneurship, as well as the cultural aspects of uh, the brewing and distilling industry, particularly as part of our Appalachian heritage. You know, in a, a small brew house like this, uh, uh, Danny Smith, the, the head brewer, and I do everything. So when we have interns in here, they have to do everything. So they'll come in and they'll have more hands-on experience in the actual brew house production. A big part of why it's all happened is Dr. Nolan and Jeremy Ross have been very creative to work with some of their 125 committees and some other committees within the college to look at how can we better create experiential workforce development partnerships in the region. And they've recently, with David Golden's help, set up the ETSU Research Corporation. And the university itself and that arm of the university, working with companies like Tennessee Hills, have really started to set a model, if you will, for workforce development and that's cutting edge for universities today. They've got to be competitive and do things that are advertisable and help students graduate into the workforce immediately with high paying jobs. We're super excited for the program. It really, it's a dream come true. For somebody like us uh, that, that intends to be here for forever, and for us to be able to work with the local community and give back, it's just something very special for us.